Half Boy First Mates. Well, welcome to our session of me helping you make that first booking. So I'm gonna have you go through these motions with me to figure out what do you need to do? What are you doing? What you could be doing differently so you could achieve the booking breakthrough. All right, so help me help you by achieving that booking this quarter. Of course, you have goals, I have goals. So we have a few days left in the quarter. Am I close to my goals? Close enough, but I'm not there yet. So I'm hoping as I share these ideas with you and options of how marketing, you could probably go back to the drawing board and have those options close. Or if you have people who are interested in, in selling the brand, you could then share more information with them so they can make that decision. I know you guys have seen this flyer. I know the word is out. We are the best of the best. So at the Cruiser's Choice Award at the Cruise Critic Awards this year, we got the best overall cruise name. That meant best in dining, best in cabins, best service, and best value. And the reason why you see this flyer and the reason why we share it is we want you to keep sharing it with your travelers. Share it with each post. Because remember, not each time you post, the same people see it, right? And yes, people are traveling. Yes, your travelers and other sailors are sharing their experiences and their, film, their photos. And as they're doing that, sailors are having FOMO. So a lot of them want to go ahead and learn about this brand of different. You've done the training, you've attended these webinars. And you know what? You're that best person to share that with them. And the awards keep coming. Don't know if you guys know this, but at the Travel Age West Awards last week, RVP John and Tracy from the West Coast were honored in accepting the award for best onboard dining venue for Pink Agave. I have said it, Jody have said it, most of our other sales managers have said it. This is our favorite restaurant on board. And as we are going out there and we're experiencing it and the sailors are experiencing it, they are voting for us. And we're getting nominated for more awards. So with that said, we've not been nominated for the travel awards. Those are coming up. So if you have been on board, you love the brand, we would appreciate if you could go out there, check it out and vote for us if you would like. And again, if you've experienced it, Remember, these are the, the categories that we have been nominated in. So if you've experienced our entertainment or you've sailed the Caribbean or one of our European itineraries, definitely, you know, cast your vote. If you think we are the best, go ahead and make your mark. So again, we could keep getting those awards coming in. So the objective of today is to equip and empower you and first mates like yourself with some valuable tips and tricks on getting that crucial first booking. Once you get that first booking, the rest of them will come. So those of you who've had sessions with me know that I literally take it down to the beginning. Let's talk about what you're doing, what you're trying to do, what you're trying to achieve, and the results that you're coming up with, and then how we could tweak it and then make it, you know, your own marketing campaign to get to that goal. Whether it be one group, whether it be one circle, whatever it is, that's why I'm here to help you to achieve. Most of you here have registered for CCADM. Most of you here have been here, but not talk about the training and you investing in yourself and completing CCADM um, enough. Because what happens here is as you understand the brand and your travelers have questions, you could answer them. As people have questions or you do encounter sailors, you feel more comfortable with talking about the brand because you did the training. We actually got five Magellan Awards for our Sea Academy training. And just in case you didn't know, you do earn three clear credits for each section that you do. And people that have completed Sea Academy training, the whole tier, are 15, more, 15 times more likely to make that booking. And if you complete at least one based on the stats, you are four times more likely than someone who's never done it. And sometimes, you know, if, if you're a part of um, the, the booking breakthrough page, I remember your peers are there to answer questions too, but they are not there to do your work for you, right? So do your training, use us as your resources, make your appointments. And again, check out the LDR webinars that they do post, because again, that's what's going to make you more informed and more likely to be in a position where you're confident in your 
to close that sale. And say you think you, you know, did the training and you're going through this and you're not sure, I'm that resource for you. And you're here today at this webinar because I invited you. So that means you did not have your booking breakthrough yet. So then I am that resource. I am that phone a friend. Text me, call me, send me an email, send me a Facebook invite. You, ha you have so many platforms that you could reach out to. So you don't have any excuses. And believe it or not, I don't work on the weekends, but you may send me a message and somebody miraculously answer you on the weekend. So don't be sitting there and not using your resources. I know many of you have met these two wonderful ladies, Yelena and Cindy. They are LDRs. They are always hosting these webinars to share the brand with you. How to book your individual bookings, how to book your circles, to share with you who we are about the sustainability um, options that are on board. If you do scan this QR code that is online, you will actually get to this page, which is the webinar registration page. So there's always different types of webinars, whether it be for registration circles, as I mentioned, destinations, as we are unlocking new destinations and different activations for entertainment and such. You want to make sure that you're in the know. I have heard a lot of first mates mention, oh, I wanna go back in and do my C Academy training. You know what, you already did that. You had your certificate, post it, let the world know like, hey, I'm certified. People like doing business with people who are certified, people who are trained. Your accountant has a his certificate up. So does your lawyer, so does your doctors. So you being that advisor that's out here, definitely take that opportunity to share it. But what I want you to do is your continuing education. You're here today, that is a part of that. But also go to these webinars because what happens is we help you sell our brand of difference. We are sharing with you what is new and what's exciting. And again, if you hear us enough, we talk about the product enough, then believe it or not, you end up knowing way more than you give yourself credit for because as you start talking about it, you've heard it, you, de you definitely can now sell. So let's look at just some demographics of who our sailors are. Last month, I did the booking breakthrough series where I talked about segmenting your client, qualifying your client, and understand who they are. I know some of you are seasoned travel agents. Some of you are just new to the industry. So it could be a little bit difficult as you are going to market, right? And as you're using different platforms to market or boosting posts, sometimes you have the option of demographics to use it. So when you look at who's sailing with us, male and female, almost even, a 59 to a 49%. The age bracket, you know, when we first started out, we were saying our median age was like 55. Then it kind of went down to 45. Then now it's a mix of everybody because you know what? We are for the young of heart, but you notice that the people between 25 and 45, you know, I literally say 25 and 54 makes up a big chunk of who's getting on board, right? You have married couples and you have 61% with kids that are on board. Most of these people are full-time employed. So when they want to detox and retox, they are coming and they're doing it up with us. Then you have the, whole, the household income where the, the highest segment are those between that 100 and 149,000. And the education level, I guess it, it really doesn't matter, but most of your professionals are getting on board that do have a bachelor's degree. All right, so some of the resources that could help you, right? I know everyone has seen this page because you are a first mate. So when you log on to firstmates.com, on this page you have right at the, the top where it says tools and guides. When you click on tools and guides, it's gonna take you into our marketing resources for Canto where we have tons of social media options that you could use, images that you could use for your cover picture your, um, and, and for your own ads. You click on that marketing material section, you go in there, you have your FAQs. So a lot of those questions that your first mates may ask or questions you may have for yourself, you could find them there. Yes, you could email me. Yes, you could email the sales managers. Yes, you could email me. But say it's a Saturday. You don't really have to wait on this. If you go through there, you could actually search and find them in this. You have booking bootcamp again. In there, you have options of 
how to take out a circle, how to book a circle, how to book a reservation, and just help you through that. And the webinar link is right there. That same QR code that I showed you previously, that will take you there. We do have our brand brochures also in here. Give me a second. So let's look at some of the resources that are available for you. And I've actually added the path. So just in case you weren't sure where they are, you could take a screenshot or you can make a note so you could get to it. In Canso, we have these new flyers, which I think they're really neat. You could share them with your, you could share them with your sailors, or you could say you have a business Facebook page and you have that file section. You could file them away. You could download these documents that we have in Canso and create a file for Virgin Voyages. And a lot of, and this one is a us versus them flyer, literally talking about those basic human rights, like the Wi-Fi, that's in there, right? what they pay, what they get. And then for you, the travel advisor, the no NCI, which it helps them and it helps you in the sense where all of these things are already included in the fair and kind of what they pay is what they get. So you're going to share that with them, whether verbally, but as you have your, your own resource library, you could download these documents and add them to those resources. Give me a second, let me admit these people, give me a second. So what you're gonna find in the marketing library, and I know that most of you may have checked it out, but there's tons of stuff. So again, sometimes you, I notice you might go off to Canva or try to create your, your own tools. Remember, we create this so it's it's on brand. So it's the same message that we're putting out in our ads if you are using our imagery and our wording and our content. So it's consistent across the board. So in the marketing materials section from firstmeet.com, you have your offers, we have social media images, we have videos, we have our brand brochures, we actually have the sales guide, the itineraries, Totally love those because there's a little editable section at the bottom where you can put the starting from price, the date of the actual itinerary, and most importantly, your call to action, which is your name and your phone number. And a neat little trick about these itineraries, I know I have been pushing, send out your Let's Go book link, send out your Let's Go book link, and I'll talk about a little bit of that later. If someone has clicked on your Let's Go book link, the cookies are now embedded in their computer. Most people don't go in and clear their cookies every day. So if they go in two, three months from more from, from today, they're still linked to you. So you share an itinerary with them. When they open that itinerary at the top left, it will say sold and serviced by you. So if they book from that itinerary or they just go in and make a random booking on the consumer site, it is tied to you. So you want to make sure you're always adding your link in all your communication. So as you share these marketing pieces, it's linking back to you. And you could even make money while you sell. We also have the option for web. So you could use those as your cover picture or if you have your own website, use those same images on your marketing. Some of the things that are out there, you know we do have these videos. I know one of the most popular one was the one with the kids. So the No Kids on the Ocean campaign was really successful. It was funny. It People shared it and shared it and customers you know, reacted to it. So as we are putting these marketing options out there from our TV spots, go ahead and utilize them. That is why they're there. We already have them. We're using them and we're making them accessible to you. So if you love the brand, your clients really love the brand, you want to promote the brand, use the assets that you have. So these videos and this, the TV spots are literally under the tools and guides, go right into the marketing library, on the left, you will have the options to choose from and you choose the option for TV spots. Leverage the promotions. I know I see you guys sharing, but one of the big ones where your sailors may not know that if they book and pay early, they could get a discount. And as you are sharing the options with them and you know they're like, okay, yeah, I wanna do a deposit, and our deposit structure is a little bit different from the other cruise lines. It's 20%. You have the option to hold the reservation for 24 hours or deposit at time of booking. But if they do pay up front, they could, they could actually save 10% on their booking. 
if they need a payment plan, we do have the option of uplift that they could use. All of those flyers, again, are in the marketing resource. Then if they even book early and they could get that early booking discount, even if they're not paying in full, and you'll see it, it prices accordingly. 10% if they're outside of 180 days and between 179 and 129, it is pricing with an extra 5%. And again, where these flyers live, marketing library under all of this. All right. So as you are marketing, right, and you are putting your information out here, I notice a lot of you are getting on board. Right? So when you get on board, take lots of pictures, take videos, go ahead and share your experience. Take your sailors on that journey with you. Have them anticipate their trip before they get. So make notes of the things that excited you and share them because believe it or not, they may excite them too. And while you're on board, I know that you see some of um, other first first mates who've been on board if you're not yet, sharing the placeholders that they've gotten on board and sharing that with their customers. They got that from the future voyage desk when that get lost on deck site. So when you get there, definitely make sure you do that. Because if you at least get one, when you get home, you do have the option for a lasting glow where you have another seven days where you could offer this option to your sailors to probably do a sail away with you or even on their own individual voyage. We do have the option for firstmatesrates.com and I do always stress and share with you, if you have a date that you want to get on, Go ahead and book it at the prevailing rate because when you weigh it out, right? Yes, you have the option of first mate rates after you finish your C Academy training. Based on the availability of that sailing, it is 100 per person per day plus taxes and fees for you and a companion. So each one would pay that. So when you do the math, it's just the cruise fare. Oftentimes the offers do have your bar tab included, extra sailor loot, the whole cost of the booking is going to go towards your numbers for your business. You are also going to get your commission. And what happens there, you're going to have a better experience because everything is included. So dollar-wise, it may be more than the first mate rate. But when you add it up and look at it, nine times out of 10, it's over. So if you have a date that you want to go, price it out and see what it, what it, what it is. Then... From that, you can actually look and see what the taxes and fees are. Then you calculate it based on who's going with you, the 100 per person today, and look at it side by side and see, you know, how much it's pricing out and what's the value or what's the better value. So let's talk about some big impact promotions, Facebook, right? So I know most of you are on Facebook, some of us not sure how to use it apart uh, as far as a marketing tool. And I'm just gonna highlight and just touch on a few things. So as we are talking about our assets, so right from the marketing directory, you could go onto your social media assets. So you're going to see the content that we're putting that are focused on, you know, the brand and you selling the brand. And some of the top performing uh, interactions that we have out there are coming from click throughs from Facebook. So you want to make sure that you are putting all this information out there to your agents. If you have not signed up with Branch Up, again, definitely look it up. It's a free marketing resource. We've partnered with them. So they are partnering and sharing our brand on Branch Up. Of course, there's other brands also on there. So we're just talking about ours. So when you do see the Branch Up options or the posts, you want to go in and just modify the the verbiage, make it your own, add your, your hashtag, add your Let's Go Book links so you're getting that better reach. Make sure you're sharing your personal experiences. So if you've been on board, take lots of pictures, take lots of videos and put it out there. If your sailors are sharing their experiences with you, ask their permission and to say, hey, can I reshare your pictures? Can I reshare your story and put it out there? Because again, the other travelers or potential new sailors will know like, hey, you booked this awesome trip for your sailors. 
share just advice and tips. And it could be something as simple as your onboarding process of you getting on the ship or what you packed. I am big on setting up your sailors with what to pack while they're going on board. We have our coveted Scarlet Night, which is, you would say, our version of what like a formal night would be with somebody else's cruise line. But on that first night, we do have a pajama party also. Prior to coming to Virgin Voyages, I sailed four times. My first time on, I didn't have pajamas for my pajama party. I did go, but I'm like, yeah, I think I would have had a better experience. But after that, I kid you not, I never left, left my pajamas and I got cute pajamas each time and onesie to participate. And those are the things that are going to get your sailors excited as you talk to them about what to pack and what to anticipate on their trip, right? If you've been, curate your own blogs, add video content on all your social platforms and put it out there. Because again, you're that subject matter expert. Sometimes I know, you know, being new to the brand and our brand being new, you may not feel that way, but you have the resources, you did the training. So as you are learning this, share what you learn. Literally do post on, you know, guess your did you know, or even find out if your sailors have been on board and encourage them to share you know, tips with you, or you start that whole conversation on your social media platform, because what's going to happen there, it's going to create engagement. Add polls. I love polls. You want to find out how your sailors are traveling. Are they solo travelers? Are they traveling groups? Are they, you know, they looking for an exciting trip? Are they looking for rest and relaxation? Are they foodies? Because as you understand who these sailors are and you go to put their circles together or you are sharing stuff with them about the brand, you'll be speaking their love language because that's going to appeal to them and they'll be nine times more likely to book that sailing with you. Instagram. All right, so we have Facebook, we have Instagram, of course, Meta owns both, but they kind of perform a little differently. So on Instagram, it's based on that awesome picture that you want to see, right? So most of the ones that do get interactions are humorous and entertaining. You have the option of creating stories, reels, or actual posts. So you want to add something creative. You want to add your own flair. You want to add hashtags. I think you can add to 30, but I think nine is a bit, nine or 10 is enough. If you only have one or two, that's fine. But as you're doing that, you want to add your Let's Go book link. You want to add your, if you have your own website separate from your Facebook page, you want to add that because those are your call to action. And what's going to happen is you are going to get these interactions. And with the hashtag, say you have a hashtag, Virgin Voyages Fun slash Caribbean. Anyone who's following the hashtag Caribbean on, on Instagram, when you make your post with your hashtag, your post is going to end up on their feed. So again, now they may like your content and they follow you. And as they follow you, the more things that you post, they will then see your post. And polls said 48% of users on IG are now finding their new next travel destination on IG. So therefore, yes, if you're not using Instagram, definitely sign up with them. You could just use the same content or the imagery you do from your Facebook. And we have tons of um, assets in, in Canto that you could actually use for posts and just copy the verbiage, kind of tweak it, jazz it up, make it your own and make a fun interactive post for your sailors. All right, so I mentioned before the different options on Instagram. And again, if you are not tech savvy or social media savvy, this might sound like French and be like, okay, how do I do this? Remember, all of these platforms have a help option. And if you even go to Facebook and do help, they have these short, not even two minute videos on how to post, how to add a story how to do it, whether it be a business page, how to create a page, how to create a group. So these assets are going to help you to maximize these options. I am big on low cost or no cost marketing options. And that's what social media is going to give you. 
So in your stories, it's just going to be a quick update behind the scenes on what's going on. Your reels could be creative and entertaining. I know um, some of you guys are using TikToks or view TikTok videos. So your reels are kind of like TikTok videos. Then. So your post is your traditional post. So it's your image with in-depth content, could be information about an offer, a promotion, or a destination. And as I mentioned before, hashtag, hashtag, hashtag. Share your own photos if you've been on Virgin Voyages, because again, you will notice you get more interactions, more likes on photos that you're actually in the picture. Your own personal experiences humanize you and make this not as salesy. And remember, people like information they don't like to be sold to give them the option give them the 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 assets make them make their own decision but you have to position yourself as that subject matter expert that you're that person that they're going to come to and ask those additional so just so just a quick overview of the social media tips find the right platform for your target audience right the one you're comfortable with the one that you are interacting with with people, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, yes, LinkedIn. Believe it or not, your LinkedIn interactions or options that you get from LinkedIn are most likely to close because the people that are on your LinkedIn are your professional links. These people know you in a professional light. So say that you are new to the travel industry and you switched industry. You're going to share like, hey, I'm now selling travel. I'm with this host. I'm now a franchise owner. This is what I'm doing. So therefore, in a professional light, if they do reach out to you, nine times out of 10, they're not kicking your tires. So as you're going to post on LinkedIn, be mindful of what you are sharing. Again, you're sharing facts, you're sharing a brand, you're sharing a product, and you're wanting that interaction to let them know that I am that subject matter expert. You have a question, reach out to me. You want to book, I am that one to book with. Better yet, here's my Let's Go book link. You could definitely click on it and make your booking by yourself. Because a lot of people do like to do things by themselves. Post regularly, be consistent. So, whatever whatever message you're getting out, right? So say that you're going to do a marketing campaign on food and the food destinations and food offers, right? If you're going to post it two, three times a week, fine, that's to do that. Then next week, if you're doing entertainment, you do that because what's going to happen to your audience, they now have something to look forward to. They're going to like, hey, I know that JC is going to put out this information on that or this next hot destination or this next hot did you know. So they're going to be eagerly looking for it. Be authentic. Let your brand shine through. And believe it or not, the first thing that you're selling is yourself because they have to feel connected to you, to be comfortable to, with, with you, to entrust your fun, you know, their fun to you. Post positive topics only. Positive co topics and positive comments. If someone is going down that negative rabbit hole, do not participate, do not engage. Because again, all fairy tales have, tales have a happy ending. That doesn't mean that everything is puppies and kittens. Sometimes there's gremlins out there, but you always want to look for that happy ending and find out the positive side of things. And remember, do not forget to add your let's go. If you joined earlier, I did have this image up off our new digital sales guide, which is on brilliantforyou.com. If you have not checked out Brilliant For You, you definitely want to go there because there is stuff about personal stuff. There is different information on how to book on circles. Again, firstmates.com do have a high level um, or for you to go into it. But when you go into Brilliant, I think I personally find it easier to use to just grab information. So I use both. All right. I know I've been talking a while. Um, let me see if I have any questions. Any All right. So someone said they have not been on the C Academy Facebook page a while. Can you still cut and paste the Virgin Voyages social posts? 
You can always cut and paste the post if you have like a snippet tool, but I do suggest using the, the images from Canto and making the post your own. Say that you're using a branch up or you're even resharing our post. This post has already gone out to like thousands of people, right? Or other people sharing it. You want it to be your own unique authentic post because it helps with the algorithm. If you could just reword it, put it through like Google's Quillbot or if you use ChatGPT or something, just to reword it, add your own hashtags, what you're going to notice, you're going to get more engagement, more rating, and your post is going to rank better on all the platforms with your own wording versus you, um, you copying and pasting or you using a snippet and resharing it. Okay, all right, so um, I was gonna go through these, but you know what, I'm gonna continue and at the end, I'll ask you to um, to unmute and ask your questions and I'll answer them the best I can or I'll point you in the right direction. So give me a second. So that's this chart. All right, so I talked about Let's Go Book. I think everyone here knows what let's go, the Let's Go Book tool is. It's literally your own personal link, right? And I'm gonna talk about, you know, the itinerary and your Let's Go Book and where I'm seeing um, some first mates are sharing itineraries. And when I click on it, it goes nowhere. Because remember, you have to consistently share your Let's Go Book link with your sailors or potential sailors. Because once they, click on it and they make a booking from the consumer side, it is linked to you. So you will get credit for it. You would still get your same 16% commission, no NCFs. You could actually service the booking from firstmates.com and your sailor could view it from their Virgin Voyages account. So you both have access to it and anything they still book before they go, like the bookables, like their shore excursions, or if they purchase extra bar tabs and all of that, you do get the extra commission. So again, it pays for you to share the link. And if they click on the link and you then they further share, um, click on any itineraries or anything that goes to the consumer site, it is still linked to you. Just in case you don't know where to find it, if you go to firstmates.com, you click on your profile right at the bottom where it says copy link, you could go ahead and copy that link to go ahead and share with them. I know the link looks a little wonky, so you do have the option to shorten it, right? So you could use bit.ly, tiny URL, and go ahead and shorten it. You could even create QR codes right from bit.ly or tiny URL, and you could put them on your other platforms. I had a conversation with um, a first mate yesterday and she wanted to do a QR code to put on her Facebook. And I shared that, yes, you can put it, but that's usually not the best place for it because most people access their social media from their phone. And if you're scanning with your phone, it's not the best place for it. But say you're doing a trade show and you printed one of our flyers, you can print your QR code like on an Avery sticker or something and add it to your content, add it to brochures, add it to anything that you have. Because then that way, they could scan and go. You'll notice that we don't have printed material, even if you are having an event, we do um, direct you to use Canto because you could print at a local printery. But again, to keep sustainability in mind, you really don't need to print all these brochures because if you go to a trade show or you go to like travel adventure show, one of these big ones, you'll notice people will take the brochures because they want the trash keys at the, at, the, at the table or whatever you're giving away, and then they put it in the trash. So I do recommend investing in some Pexi glass, you know, holders, like they're just a regular eight by um, 11, print the individual flyer and add your QR code to it. And that will take them to where they want to, whether it be the sales guide, whether it's an offer, because again, working smarter versus harder, or you could even create like a digital business card with your QR code that you could share with people. Make sure that you're putting your Let's Go Book link on everything. If you go in and you are getting posts from BrandJump, go in and tweak the wording and add your Let's Go Book link to it. If you're having a virtual cruise night or you have sailors that you're communicating with or you're inviting them to anything, 
don't let them leave without your Let's Go Book link. Because what will happen is, say they interacted with someone else and they had a link and they click on it or scan their QR code. Now they're tied to that person, not you. So if they go to the consumer site to book it themselves, the person who shared their first Let's Go Book link is the person who's going to get credit. It's not going to affect you if they call you to make the booking, but believe, but we know that people are up late at night on the weekend, just browsing and looking around and sometimes make some impromptu decision. And if one of those is to make a booking, you want the credit because you spoke to them. So you want to make sure that they're linking with you. And even if it's in person and they click on your link to say, hey, let me see, make sure it worked. And you want to just take a quick glance and make sure that your name is at the top left, that you're the person that's going to get credit for them. Because I've had it where first mates have reached out to say, I went to virginvoices.com. Why is this one person name popping up on my thing? Or every time I go to virgins, that person, why is that one person getting credit? Do you know why? You went out and clicked on somebody else's link. So... I'm giving everybody here homework. Go to virginvoyages.com. And if your name is not at the top of the page, that means you did not click on your own Let's Go book link. If someone else's name is at the top of the page, click on the little three dots on your Google and clear your cookies and then connect with yourself. All right. Many of your sailors are sailing with other people. We're brand new. So they're not sailing with us because they don't know us. And they probably have status with someone else and they're sailing with them because of the perks. So with our sailing club, and right now this is in place till the end of the year, these are the cruise lines that we are matching status with. And it gives you the membership tier that we are matching status with. Matching status. So with our sailing club, we have sailors that we have our sea, sea blazers, our sea rovers, and we have our mountain sea more program. So our sea blazers are those people that were with us from the beginning. Like they keep getting back on board in 2021 when no one was sailing, they were out there with us. They've sailed multiple times. Then you have your sea rovers between 22 and 23, they have two plus sailings. And all of them do get the deep blue extras. And I'll go over what's included that in a minute. The match and see more, that was the cruise lines I was showing you that we do match their status and then they will get these perks, which are the deep blue extras. And that's expedited boarding, an extra $100 bar tab. They get upgraded to the premium Wi Fi. They get a daily um, um, beverage credit, credit for specialty coffee. Oh, sorry, for um, specialty coffee. They have a dedicated sailor service rep on board. They do get invited to exclusive cocktail hours and laundry service. So again, if you have those sailors that are, are dedicated to sailing with another brand and they're like, oh, you know what? I'm not sure about this. Sometimes you want to dangle that carrot because there are those people that are point mongers and they are loyal to a brand because of what they get on board and they'll feel special coming on board with that priority boarding and these extra perks. So you definitely want to be sharing that with them. People like to sail with other people. So I'm going to kind of speed talk here and go through circles because I want to keep your time in mind. All right. So we, our circle system is a little bit different from the others. You could take out a contract, great, or you could book one and then keep booking till you get to your time. You have up until 14 days prior to the sailing to um, convert your bookings into a circle. And when you get to the 10, uh, the 10, then the circle perks activate. You as the travel advisor have the option of an extra bonus commission of 2% on all those circle bookings or the complimentary cabins, right? I always say, I love the money take the extra 2%. Because on the complimentary cabin, you still have to pay taxes and fees, right? You're not getting commission on that. Whatever perk they're booked at with the extra sailor loot, the bar tabs and all of that, it's not gonna be included. So especially if a person's a part of your group, you don't want to be the odd man out or have to pay extra for it where you could have already paid for it, got your commission, got all the perks and got extra money on all the bookings that are in the circle. So the extra perks that comes with our circles when you close your circle, they do get extra sailor loot, depends on the cabin type book. So if you're in our rockstar quarters, and 
extra two two hundred dollars in sailor loot sea terrace is a hundred and our insiders in sea view 50. and if you don't know by now we're always giving away loot there's always an option for you to get as we have our sailor nights and you invite your sailors and you come they have the option to earn loot while coming so while they're traveling together as groups they have the option to even book um, pre-arranged parties or dining options for shore excursions all of that's done through the circles team so that happens after you've had your circle and deposited people booked into the circle not when you take out the contract to say i'm holding holding these cabins and i hope these people come once you have your confirmed circle you could then work with the circles team to get your pre-arranged parties sorted out so just a little fun fact some of our first mates that are doing great right they've all completed C academy they've been on board. So if you have not been on board, make arrangements and think about how you're going to get on board. They go on and explore firstmates.com or Brilliant For You and use the materials that are there for marketing, for reviews, for what other people are saying. They know that the brand may not be for everyone, but we have something for everyone. So as you're going to market and you understand the brand, you know what to say. They follow the social media pages, they're sharing the posts and they're marketing the brand across the board and engaging with their sailors. And they have group bookings. So circles is a very fast way for you to make that extra money. And believe it or not, most people travel with other people. So what you want to do is while you are pitching or talking to someone about travel, you want to find out, is there someone you often travel with or someone else that might be interested? Encourage them to share your Let's Go book link. And as they're doing that, what happens is you might be gaining your next customer, your next sailor. So we have these promotions and things out there that you could always share. I don't know if you've heard about the Virgin celebration that Sir Richard Bronson's going to be on. And I've heard that it's sold out and then a couple of spots open back up. So again, if you have sailors are, that are interested in being on board, you could actually take a snippet, take this board, or you could go to Canto and copy these images to go ahead and promote the Sailing on Resilient. So he's going to be on from August 27th to September 3rd. So again, as we have these offers, as we have these activations, you definitely want to share it because again, you don't know what your sailors are going to be interested in. So if you don't give them the option, you might be missing out on that. So I'm gonna go over some quick slides that you see all the time. Why Virgin Voyages? Just a quick reminder for you, we're adults only. We have these innovative restaurant concepts for all the inclusions, your Wi-Fi, the tips, the eateries, the fitness classes, the beverage packages, and more. We're also wellness focused. So therefore, while they're sailing with us, they don't need to break their routine. They could still eat like how they eat. They could still do their workout and exercises while they're on board. We have specially curated experience and entertainment just for us and our ship, the yacht-inspired design, make them feel like they're sailing on their own private yacht. So the always included luxury, as I mentioned, that Wi-Fi, the unlimited work, group workouts, the tips, the essential drinks, our shows, and entertainment. And here are our four beautiful lady ships, Scarlet, Valiant, Resilient, and the Brilliant Lady. She will be joining us in December, but all four ships are up for sale right now. Just in case you don't know where they are at. So here is the itinerary. Again, I know we've shared it multiple times. If you do want to take a screenshot. So Scarlett, we know her home is in Miami. Valiant lives her best life. So she, she spends her winters in Miami and then she goes back to Barcelona um, in the summer months. We know Resilient. So it's been a month already that she started sailing um, from Athens. And I'm having severe FOMO because a lot of my crewmates and a lot of the sales managers have been on board. So that's on my list of to do. And when Brilliant sails this holiday, she's going to make her way down from Miami on the 24th of December to San Juan, where it's going to be her home. And she's going to be doing the Lesser Antilles. So she'll be getting into some of those smaller Caribbean islands. And again, it's going to be an awesome time with, I cannot wait for our four ships to 
in the water because what happens as we have more vessels in the water, we're covering more of the world. So we're touching these different itineraries. I know a lot of you have been asking for your 24, 25 itineraries. They should be out by the end of August because what's gonna happen here with these four ships, they're going to be other destinations activated. So I cannot date. Quick update. Everyone asked about passports. Passports, passports. We are a passport crew. We, we are sailing. Virgin voyages, we require passports. There is going to be this one exception for closed loop sailings from Miami only. And that they could travel with a certified copy of a US birth certificate, not a photocopy from the from the passport agency plus your government issued ID. Mm -hmm. uh, could you someone okay? All right. So again, I am a US citizen. I have to travel with my passport. I'm Jamaican born. So my Jamaican passport and my US ID would not get me. So as we're talking about birth certificates, you want to be specific, sorry, that it's a US birth certificate. And ideally you want your sailors to have passports, but we don't want you to lose that booking if it's a closed loop sailing from Miami only, not Puerto Rico, nowhere else. It has to be going to and from Miami, not a repositioning, not a one way. So as you're having those conversations with your sailors, push the passport. If they're an exception, then you find out based on the itinerary what they want to do, and then you offer them the passport. Just in case you don't know who I am, here's my information. My link for my Calendly and my Facebook page. And if you have not made your first booking, we do belong together. I know we have a few minutes. So what I am going to do is I'm going to stop sharing. You have the option to unmute yourself, raise your hand and ask a question. I know you. Have, there's a couple in the chat, but I'm working with one screen, so it's a little hard for me to get. So. But if not, I could always copy them and answer it separately later. Any questions? Hello, everybody. Hey, Janine. Hi. Um, I do have a question, and thank you, thank you for your time on this Friday for us. Um, what I would like to ask you is, I have looked at the um, itineraries, mm -hmm. where it has the itineraries and such, and then at the bottom, it seems like, and it's, I'm sure it's pretty simple, but at the bottom where you fill in the information, what are we, what are we supposed to put there? Sure. And you know what? I'm glad you asked that question, because I did talk about the itineraries. I did talk about adding your let's go for me for you to use it. So when you click on the itinerary, you notice there's three gray sections at the Yes. Time, right? Mm -hmm. What you would then do, you could either use your own Let's Go Book link, which is at virginvoices.com, and price the itinerary date that you're trying to use for firstmates.com. And once you get the price, because remember the price is per cabin, so it's based on two people. So that would say starting from whatever per person. So you put, say you price the 14th of February on a five night sailing, right? And mm -hmm. $2,400. So on that first box, you would put starting from $1,200. All you type in is $1,200 because the word after it says per person. So you would put starting, so it will say starting from $1,200 per person. The next line, it would be, you'd put Scarlet Lady 14th of February to the 15th from Miami. The, and you don't even have to put that because the itinerary is already printed on the side where it says Scarlet Lady Miami just doesn't have the date. So you would just put the dates and numbers of nights. So you would put then 14th to the 19th of February, and then you put the year there. Then the last line, that's where your call to action go. So you would put your name and your phone number for them to reach out or your email or whatever. Then you would then save the document to your computer and then you could print it or you could upload it to 
your social media or any platform you want to. Make sense? Yes, thank you. That's a good one. Anyone else has questions, Shireen? All right, it's Kim. Okay, go ahead, Kim. Sorry. I went on the ship in April. It was great. I had a good time. Um, I did get a lot of traction from the reel that I did, but how often do you think we should keep promoting? Like, the, should I promote the same reel or like what is your advice for that? And then my second question, I did stay in the C terrace, which was great because it had the hammock and all that. But for people that like true double beds, because that's been the other thing, keep it on like sharing beds if you have two people going. And I feel like the foot to the head situation, because it's like a L, could still be kind of small. So what has been your advice for people that want like a true double bed and they're used to being in an all-inclusive? Or should I just tell them you just need to be okay with sleeping in a king-size bed? Okay, so I've been in the industry 26 years and I've cruised on a lot of, you know, different lines before Virgin came out. Most beds do split to two separate beds and they're side by side. Mm -hmm. And the space between is this. So if you really roll, you could roll onto the other bed. Ours is not side by side, it's in an L shape. So it's head to head or toe to toe. Mm -hmm. So we don't suggest doing head to toe. And even when we market or you're having that conversation, you want to talk about the bed transfers to that sea lounger, which is kind of like a sectional couch. So during the daytime, it gives you more space in the cabin, but at night they will make up your bed based on how you'd like to make it up, whether it be toe to toe or head to head. So yeah. again, that's how it is. And that's kind of how you pitch it and sell it. And if you think about I don't know if you converted your better or while you were on board, when you, during the daytime where you need to move around the cabin, it opens up the cabin so much more that it's, it's a comfortable space for you to hang in. Mm -hmm. So again, you being on board, your, your question again about was your, your post, right? Oftentimes when we travel and we say, I'm, and, and prior to me, you know, being a coach, I was a first mate or I was a travel agent for years. I've been in the industry for 26 years. So when you go to market, you have to remember that your sailors and your travelers are depending on you to, 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 to give them the information, right? But what we tend to do is we'll see an ad that we have out and we're marketing. So they're seeing our ads and you just share it. How is that different from what we put out? So again, it's kind of white noise because it's the same thing. So what mm -hmm. you want to do is to take, whether it be the photo, whether it be the ad, and then you personalize. It. So Kim, in your case, you went on board and you did a reel and you probably got home or while you're on board, you did this massive photo dump. Again, no harm, no foul. But what you do is when you travel, you take photos. These photos are going to last you for the life of you marketing the brand until you get back on board. And what you're going to do, or I suggest you doing, is segmenting your photos. Segment your entertainment, your food, your relaxation, your cool stuff to take a picture at, and then you start campaigns on each segment. So you're gonna dust off those photos that you have, Kim. I know you did a reel, so that's probably in a video form. If you do have it in videos, do stills from your phone and take additional photos from your video, and then you break them up and do different campaigns on the different things to do on board. And you'll find out that you have way more interaction. Now. Even when you're marketing on a whole, speak to that person's love language. If they're going for the food, you speak about it. If you're going for the entertainment, you speak about it. Because we're still brand new. A lot of people still have not heard about us, right? Mm -hmm. I would tell people I work at Virgin Voyages. They're like, oh, Virgin Airlines, I love it. I'm like, no, Virgin Voyages. <laughs> on the ocean. So therefore, with each ad, with everything you're putting out there, you want to promote, as in you're just advising, you're sharing information with someone who has no clue what this brand is. Because what's going to happen, then you may get that questions or people want to know about what it is or share like, hey, this is great, I've been on. And then you then engage them. And just a quick tip about how the algorithms work for social media. 
Kim and I are friends. I like Kim, Kim likes me, right? But, you know, we just did that years ago. Well, she doesn't like my pictures. I don't like her pictures. So what happens when Kim posts her picture? If I don't go to her page, go looking, it will not fall on my feed. Mm -hmm. If we have a regular interaction where I'm commenting, you're commenting, it will not only drop it on my feed, it will make suggestions to my friends to say, hey, JC like this, you may like it too. And I know that you've seen these suggestions. Two things the algorithms do not affect is your cover picture and your, and your profile picture. So each time you update one of those, you notice you get all these likes, right? Because yeah. you were dead to the world and you just came alive. So what happens as you guys leave today and you're going to start your new campaigns, I want everyone to either take their phone or whatever calendar form you use and set an appointment, whether it be once a month or every two weeks, whatever you choose, to go update your cover picture. Go look, whether it be on Branch Up, whether it be on our page, whether it be on from your past pictures of a great scenery or, or a great offer that's out there, update your cover page often. Because what will happen as you go through it is you're going to then notice you're getting more interactions. You're coming up further on your rankings because more people are engaging and you have now have unique content that you're putting. Got it. Thank you. Very helpful. No problem, Kim. Mitch, I see you have your, you have your hand up. Hi, yes. Um, I have a, a quick question. I'm actually booking today, August 4th. I finally got my wife to decide. And um, I was gonna post so I was gonna post right away on social media. I'm gonna be on there, join me, you know, to try to get some more cabins. My goal is hopefully to sell a few cabins to help me pay for this cabin, obviously. Um, should I do a circle or just post my link? All right, so let's talk about circles. Our circles work different from everybody else's circle, right? right? So you can start with one booking and that's how most of our first mates, even the ones in the top 100, start with their one booking. And that one booking is usually themselves. You right. make your booking, once you download the app, and once you download your app, you're gonna start getting a countdown, right? So you could literally take a picture for a countdown to say, hey, I'm going, who's coming with? So now you're gonna take everybody who you know along with this journey with you. You're gonna share 299 flip flops from Old Navy and says, oh my God, I think <laughs> I should get these in every color to match every all these swim trunks that I'm getting. Or I'm only wearing swim, swim trunks on this thing. Then you share that onesie that you're gonna to wear to the pajama party. Then you share that that sparkling bedazzled red shirt that you're gonna wear. <laughs> no onesies here, sorry. <laughs> do polls, do polls for people to say, what should I pack? Don't be salesy, just you're sharing that I'm going, if you wanna come, this is what's gonna happen. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do, perfect. This is what we're gonna get. And again, with our circles, whether you took out a, a circle or you took out an individual deposit amount is still that 20%, right? So the, if you took out a group, I think it gives you like 30 days, depends on how far out it is, but that deposit for that circle is gonna be 20% of your total. So you see how that could be a lot of money for you speculating that right. all these friends are gonna go with me and you don't wanna tie up your money for that. So remember, yeah. we don't have penalties on say you take out a circle and you don't go, it just drops off. It will become from a circle to an individual booking and it's whatever the prevailing gotcha. rate that you're looking at. And you could then, let me tell you how you could promote your circle. Remember, we're saying share your Let's Go book link, put it everywhere. If you know me, you need to click on this link. You literally could put a post out there and say, hey, you wanna know our virgin? Click on this link. Click on this link, don't say book because no one wants to be sold to. It's literally, for more information, click on this link. You put it out there, right? Then you go into the itinerary, like we were just talking about. And at the bottom, you put the starting from price and you put today's price. And then it's going to be the prevailing rate. And you could just do with a, a C Academy, um, sorry, a C Terrace, right? And you just put that out there. And whenever yeah. they book, whatever they're booking. Actually, they're C -Terrace all thing, there's no uh, inside even available left on this See? selling. It's and <laughs> this is the part where, you know, I get questions about, I, I know it's, I'm a minute over, so I'm going to go take three minutes more, <laughs> all right, where you, I, I will hear first mate say, hey, you know, there's no first mate, mate date on this, there's that. If you're looking at Scarlett, Scarlett's selling herself at this point. Yeah. When we got an award in 2021 and we're like, hey, if you do your training, come on board, come for free, this is this, it's low, it's this 
they said that, that that day that that ship is coming sailed. At yeah. this point, from a revenue standpoint, the ship is selling itself. So therefore, if this is the ship you want to go, if this is the date you want to go, you got to book it. Same yeah. thing with your circles of the people that you're telling. Like, hey, if you really want to come, if you are serious, hey, you may not have your money today. Talk to them about Oculus. Give them the link. Let them go apply. If they apply it and get it, great. They could book up front, pay in full and get that 10% discount. And here you go. You're ready for your trip. Great. I appreciate it. Now, wish me luck on my guarantee because I'm doing the guarantee because that's the best deal. So, yeah. So, <laughs> and you know what? This, the, I sailed in a limited um, view. And what happens is you have your own personal um, tender right outside. <laughs> but therefore, you, you, you're safe, okay? You still have your red hammock, and that's the most important thing. The wind is not blocked. You're, it's still awesome. You might just have to, you know, shimmy a bit to take some photos from the site and it depends right. you know when they assign it but again your cabin's exactly the same the experience is exactly the same and right now i'm having so much fomo like you're telling me you're booking like i really need to be on board so anyway. <laughs> well come join me august 4th i'll send you my link <laughs> you know, go ahead, go ahead and send me your information and we'll see from there um so if, if it is this your first booking if you have not made your first booking you guys should have gotten an email for scavenger on from the 15th to the 30th. If you did your scavenger hunt, you did your first booking and your goals, Mitch, you're going on board, you know what you're getting. So remember, there's always these perks for you interacting, right. you list, reading your emails. So Mitch, reach out, send me your email with your info. All right, I, I will. All right, <laughs> thank you guys for joining me today. I am going to send the recording when we're done. And again, reach out if you have not made your bookings, you have not made an appointment with me. Let me go back and share this page so you could get my info. So grab it for the last time, take a picture, let's become friends on Facebook, follow me, come on, join the page. And then we'll take polls and figure out what we could do next and, you know, what we could talk about. Thank you. You guys are most welcome and enjoy your weekend. Goodbye. Bye.